Oh, didn't see you there. Hello there, and welcome to my clothing corner, as I have aptly titled this section of my room. One thing you might not know about me is that my room does not have a closet. So things tend to pile up in a manner similar to this. It's usually quite manageable, but there is definitely a line, and I've definitely crossed that line. I flew right by it, I'm now a mile past it. There is too much clothing in this room, and it's honestly too much clothing for me. Like, I don't wear probably like 40 to 60% of my clothing at any given moment. Part of the reason for that is because there's like different seasons of clothing, right? But part of it is that I have too much of it. Because I have the inability to like invest in good pieces, so I just buy shitty pieces. And then it turns out I don't like them for some reason, probably because they're shitty. And then I don't wear them, and then I'm like, well shit, I need a different version of that piece. So then I buy another one, but it's also bad quality, and the cycle continues. But enough is enough, and considering I'm moving out in about two weeks, I've decided now is the best time to do what I can to get all this shit out of my room in the best way possible. I've determined what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to sell a lot of my clothes, if I can't sell them, then I will donate them. There's also a bunch of clothes that I will be donating without trying to sell because I feel like that's not kosher. Does anyone want my old activewear that I've like sweat multiple times in? I don't think so. So yeah, without further ado, I'm gonna get started and I'm gonna take you along with me throughout the process of trying all these clothes on, taking pictures, uploading those pictures, selling the clothes and shipping them off. So this will be quite fun. By fun, I mean not fun at all. It might be fun for you though. And while we're doing this, we can talk about how I got here. Okay. Okay, so first I wanted to take a look at my old Depop listings, which I pulled up my Depop for the first time in like forever just now. Low key, I'm I'm impressed. I'm impressed with the quality of photography that went into this. I do remember taking these pictures though. I was in quarantine because I got exposed to COVID and I was like bored and upset and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna make a profit. So that's what happened. Okay, so this is what it looks like. The last time I sold clothes was in my old apartment. So the setup in the back here with the vines and shit, that's from my old apartment, but I think it looked pretty good. Wait, the lighting was hitting my abs so good. Like, hello? I like looked like I had abs. Anyway. All right, and here's the setup. Got my phone. I like to shoot on my phone just cause it's easier. I also changed into a shirt that I feel like will match everything. So I'm starting with pants. These, that's a sock. These are all the pants I'm selling and the ones I'm wearing right now. I know it might be weird to be selling the clothes that I'm wearing on my body. I promise I wash all of them, okay? So yeah, I'm just gonna get started. Okay, self timer. Let's go. Three, two, one. Why the fuck did I put my hand on my hip like that? Oh my God. And the flash was on. Okay, one more time. Good enough, next. These jeans I honestly really loved when I first bought them and then I proceeded to never wear them ever again. So that is why I'm selling them. Someone's gonna like these, they'll find a new home, and it will make me feel better about myself. Why did I do that? These pants are just like not the fit I like to go for these days. I also cut the bottoms off myself, and that just like didn't help at all. Thought I would wear them more if I cut the bottoms off. That was not true. <laughs> Thank God. So I'm gonna move on to skirts now. I only have three of them, so this shouldn't take long, but I do need to like reframe everything. Ugh, this one, this was so sad. I bought this on sale at Urban Outfitters and I was like, what a great purchase. It was a steal, like the pattern, it's so on trend. I actually brought this with me on two vacations, proceeded to never wear it a single time. It's sad, if anyone wants it, like go check out my Depop, maybe it's still there. It's shot right now. Oh. Love the tag. I feel like this shirt's not like the best pairing for this skirt, but it's like black, so it's fine. If it was any more egregious, I would change, but honestly, I'm too lazy. But this does get into the point of like styling your clothes while you take pictures of them. And that's why I kept putting my shoes on. I feel like at least when I'm shopping, the way it's styled has such a big impact on me. The point of having people model the clothes is so that they can sell you on the items. You'll be like, wow, it looks so good on them. Like it'll look good on me, you know? It'll make you want to buy it more. That's just, you know, the nature of how people think. What the fuck? 
What that means is that people will be more likely to buy your product if you style it well, because if you look good in it, then they think they'll look good in it. And you'll look good in it if it's like, you know, well styled. I never even figured out how to work this skirt when I owned it. Like I never wore it in the way that it was supposed to be worn, but I think you're supposed to do something like that. Okay, see this, I think would work better with this top I have underneath. Okay, so the bottoms are done. But um, talking about styling of clothing also pertains to stuff like accessories. When I'm styling jeans, I usually wear my Air Forces. When I'm styling wider like pants, I tend to wear my docks. But it is annoying to like change things out all the time. And so what I'm doing for jewelry at least is I'm sticking to some really classic pieces that pretty much go with everything. Like these hoops I wear on the daily, they go with everything. This necklace I also wear on the daily also goes with everything. I never find a reason to take this off. And they're both from Ana Luisa, which is the sponsor of this video. Everyone knows who Ana Luisa is who watches my channel because I talk about them so much, but Ana Luisa is a jewelry brand that makes affordable, sustainable, and classic jewelry. This is basically how it works. The style of their jewelry is all super classic. I feel like nowadays there's like a new trendy jewelry item that goes in and out of fashion within like two months. These pieces are not like that because these are designs that are just like so simple, but elegant. They're classy, they're beautiful. So you'll want to wear these pieces for a really long time. And what allows you to do that is that they're are really good quality. So you will be able to wear them for a really long time. A lot of the jewelry that I used to buy have this issue where it would turn like disgusting, like brown color, or sometimes it would turn like green after like a couple months. And then I'd like, wouldn't be able to wear it because it's no longer gold, the color that I prefer. It's green. Ana Luisa's jewelry does not do that. It does not tarnish. They're all plated with real gold, which means that it basically won't tarnish. But the fact that it's plated with real gold rather than being solid gold makes it more affordable. So you can have these great quality pieces at a pretty affordable price point. And on top of all that, they are very sustainable. Ana Luisa has a sustainability mission that is really admirable. They offset 100% of their carbon emissions, which I think is so amazing. And yeah. Be sure to check out Ana Luisa at the link in my description and you can get 10% off your order with my discount code, which is Nina10. Thank you to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this video and let's get back to the photo shoot. I've got a pile of a bunch of shirts and a bunch of like sweater jackets. I'm gonna start with the sweater jackets and then I'll go on to shirts. I probably won't be able to film that cause like my boobs will be out, but this stuff I can't film, so I will. So it'll look like this. Can I do like a, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's okay. I'm gonna start talking about basically my shopping addiction. When I was like a kid, obviously through elementary school, like I didn't really shop for myself, except my mom would take me and my sister to Justice like twice a year to just buy random shit. And like, it was whatever. I didn't have anything really to base my sense of fashion on because I was like, what, 11 and social media like practically didn't exist yet. I just wore whatever the fuck I wanted. And it was fine. Like the clothes I wore in elementary school from what I can remember are not bad at all. Middle school, however, was when I started having issues. Somehow between fifth and sixth grade, I started getting really insecure about what I wore. I'm not sure how that happened because in fifth grade, I would literally wear anything. And then suddenly in sixth grade, I wore the same thing to school every single day. And I'll tell you what my uniform was in a sec. It just doesn't fit the way I want to fit. Um, maybe I want it to go like this. I'll include a styling tip. For the majority of the year when it was cold, this is my uniform. I would wear Uggs, like tall Uggs, yoga pants shoved into those tall Uggs. And then the shirt was different every day, but that didn't matter because over the shirt, I would wear one sweater every single day for a period of like two or three weeks. And then the sweater would rotate, but nothing else would change. So it was just like sweater, yoga pants, tall Uggs, yoga pants shoved in the tall Uggs every single fucking day. Like I just had six pairs of yoga pants in rotation and they're trendy now, but they were not trendy back then. I don't know what I was doing. Honestly, looking back at that period, I'm not sure why I did that. I don't know what happened to me. I don't know what I was thinking. Seventh grade got a little better. And by that, I mean, I wasn't wearing literally the exact same thing every day, but it was still pretty bad. I just had about five outfits in rotation, one for each day of the week. And they were all very similar. I started wearing jeans at that point. I remember that was, that was big for me. Buying my first pair of jeans since like third grade. Guys, I was a weird child. I was a fucking weird child. But it was like jeans and then one of those like cami tops and then a v-neck. That was my go-to. Jeans, cami top, v-neck. And the v-neck was just low enough that you could see the cami top peeking out. And I thought I looked really good honestly at that time, which I didn't. Oh, this is kind of cute. Should I keep this? 
Uh, the old denim jacket. Today I'm gonna be rocking denim on denim. I hope no one minds. Eighth grade, honestly, I did get a little better, guys. But it was still just like, I don't know. I was still developing my sense of style. I still was not on social media the way people are today. But at the same time, I noticed other people in my grade started dressing like, I don't know, just like better, generally. They started dressing better. They started looking cooler. I just like didn't know how to do that. So basically when it came to high school, I was like just so lost in terms of like what even looked good. Like I remember I put on a pair of high-waisted pants, which objectively flatter a lot of people. And I just like couldn't even decide if it looks good or not. I did not know what good fashion was then. I didn't know what fitting well meant. But at that point, I really wanted to. Like I wanted to know what looked good. I wanted to dress better. And I just like didn't know how to. I guess I never discovered Pinterest. All of this leads up to today, basically, where I think I now am capable of dressing myself okay. I'm not the most stylish person in the world. I'm not the most fashionable. I don't take the most risks, whatever. But I look decent on a good day. But I still have this lingering, like crippling fear of not looking good enough, of not wearing things that are cool. Unfortunately, how this manifests is that every time I'm scrolling on like Instagram or something and I see someone in a really cute outfit, I just think, I want that, I need that. I've gotten better at controlling my impulse shopping, but a lot of the time I'll just be like, shit, I need that. And it'll just like, it'll play to seed in my mind that when watered, just like explodes. And then I'm suddenly just like buying shit left and right that I don't need. The worst part about it, and I've realized this by now, is that buying more clothes does not inherently make you more fashionable. And yeah, that's the story of my shopping addiction. Okay, so I finished and then immediately got into bed as you can see. But I'm looking through the photos and I did a fucking good job. Look at these, like maybe I'm being dramatic, but I think I killed it. Can you see this? Holy shit, I look so tan too. I will upload these to Depop probably tonight. I wanna give myself enough time to be able to ship stuff out if they sell. What I do remember from last time though, is I didn't regret a single item that I sold. And I think that just really speaks to how unnecessary all my purchases are. I'm really trying to do better. And honestly, I think it would be great to sell as much as I can. So I have to pack as little as possible. So when I get back here next fall, I can start with like a clean slate of only things I love, but we'll see, we'll see what happens tonight. Okay, hello everyone and welcome to my laundry room. As you can see, it's dark in here. It's always dark in here. The lights exist, I know that, because they were turned on one singular time, but every other time I've ever been in here, it's always been pitch black, and I cannot find a light switch to save my life. Regardless, we shall persevere. It's around a week and a half after I posted everything. Everything did get posted. Some of it got sold, which is very exciting. So now it's time to get them ready to be shipped out. So this stage in the process involves washing all the clothes, printing the shipping labels, packaging everything, and the last thing will be to send them out to the post office. Let's get started. guys i got my bags here my labels here the clothes right here and it's time to start packing the first packing slip i have here this is for redacted she ordered one shirt for me and it's fairly small so like it will fit in here no problem put in and then we take this off we seal we attach the label. Shoot, I need tape. Basically what started this whole thing of me wanting to sell my clothes was like, there was just this pile accumulating here. As I kept getting like packages, more orders, and I kept buying clothes because I'm stupid. And it was just growing and growing and growing. And I was like, this is too much. And I could feel like the stress as I looked around my room being like, there's so much stuff in here and I have nowhere to put it. And I know that like, even though I haven't even sold that many items, just getting these out of my house, like I will feel so much better. And once I donate the rest, I will actually like, I know this is gonna make me feel better. And maybe that will motivate me to continually keep myself in check when it comes to buying more clothes, assessing the clothing that I do have and thinking about the impact that buying more clothes would have on me besides just like the temporary joy of 
receiving a package. Now I'm gonna keep doing this for a really long time. And once these are all done, the only thing I have to do is drop them off at the post office and we'll be good to go. All right, and this is my preliminary stack. And I'm very excited. This looks like a doable load. I can bring this all to the post office tomorrow. Also, there are definitely still items left on my Depop, so go check them out. And I can do this process all over again just for you. I'll see you tomorrow when I drop these off and we conclude this lovely, lovely journey that we've been on together.